Today we're talking about filtering. In two minutes, let me show you how. I'm Mark McFay. I've been riding safely on the road and racing on track for 35 years. After working as a MotoGP engineer, I founded the Riders Academy in Australia. Today I run the MotoDNA Digital Academy, online and data driven, teaching riders all over the world. All right, folks, we're going to talk about some uh, slow speed skills for uh, confident uh, filtering. Um, so essentially, the goal here is to be able to ride your motorcycle as slow as possible. And most bikes, you can go from almost standing still to sort of kind of walk in pace. That's kind of the goal we're after today. So there's a few tricks. So the first thing is your head should be up, eyes eyes forward and um, a couple of reasons for that um, your balance is a kind of in your ears there's little bones in your ears and um, you know if you're looking down you'll get a bit wobbly so keep your head up eyes forward looking ahead it's very easy to drop your head second thing is when you're looking ahead and you're in the traffic and um, you're, you're looking where you want to go there's cars on either side when you're filtering so you want to watch those cars and you can watch those in your peripheral vision and your peripheral vision is kind of like a fight or flight mechanism for your body so if there's a movement like a car coming across um, or indicators going on or somebody opening the door you're more likely to see that and react quicker peripherally than if you're looking directly at it so that's a few good reasons to have your head up and the next thing to understand is to use the bike to help you so to go as slow as possible what we do is we uh, increase the engine revs so if your revs i generally go for double the idle and what that does is stabilizes the bike so the engine spinning the gear and the crankshaft and and so forth and those forces are kind of stabilizing the bike and making it less wobbly so engine double idle and um, you're in gear and your back brake is engaged so we don't use the front brake when we're doing our slow speed we use the back brake and kind of drag that along with the clutch in the in the friction zone so clutch in the friction zone double engine idle speed dragging against the rear brake okay then other parts of your body are your um, arms so the closer your arms are to this uh, 90 degrees to the steering stem which is kind of like this on this bike but more realistically this is more comfortable then you can control the bike more if your arms are up here and um, then it's harder to control and feel the bike so down here is better your arms at 90 degrees your biceps your triceps everything's a lot easier okay and um, what else do we got yeah your core engaged so a good way to do that is to put your stand down and sit on your bike and lean forward like this so you can feel the weight on your arms and just let you take your arms off and you'll feel that core engaged and that's what you the feeling that you should have on your bike the core should be engaged so that you have light um, effort on the bars you're not holding on too tight on the bars okay all right back into the slow speed drill so we're in first gear here the goal is to go as slowly as possible so throttle is double double idle revs clutch in the friction zone rear brake on, rear brake on eyes looking ahead we're going pretty slow so a wee bit wobbly arms 90 degrees to the steering stem core engaged there we go Head to MotoDNA.com to learn more.